Hi, I'm your interface. Uh, welcome to this instruction video, how you can edit the permanent future lab wiki. Um, so for example, to add your own location, or if you have something to share in a permanent future lab to add something you share, um, we will explain it here in this, uh, this video. Um, so now I'm on the, the front page of the wiki. Currently I'm not logged in. Uh, it's good to know you should not have an uh, account to edit the wiki. You can do that anonymously. Um, but yeah, if it's not necessary uh, to do it uh, anonymously, you can uh, log in, create an account, or if you already have an account, uh, log in on that. Um, it's uh, easier for other people to su see who changed something on, the, on your wiki page. So here's the front page and yeah, here's the login button. As you can see here, I already have an account. If you don't have an account, click the join permanent future lab and you can enter uh, a username. You like to have password, uh, password again, your email address and also your real name if needed, and a capture to check your or another computer, then create your account. Uh, I said I already have an account, so I will join and keep me logged in. So now I'm logged in, as you can see here. And here is the, the Permit Future Lab Wiki. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show you uh, how you can add a location if you are starting your own location. Uh, here's a list of current locations of Permit Future Lab. It's a table. So we need to edit this table to um, add a location. Uh, by the way, it's good to know that this wiki is using the media wiki software it's the same open source software as wikipedia is using um, so you can see here mediawiki.org you can click to that website to find more information and documentation about media wiki by the way it's hosted by Mira hayes a uh, very nice organization who wants to help uh, people that likes to have a wiki uh, but yeah, that's enough for now about Media Wiki and Mirror Hayes. Let's go back to edit this website, this wiki. So this is the locations. And if you have a, a one-time pop-up, uh, you can go through pop-up locations and edit that one. But for now, I will give an example of uh, yeah, locations for a longer term, sharing technologies, innovations, so to uh, add your own location, we need to edit it. And we go to actions in the upper right corner and to do edit or edit source. You can use edit source if you already know a lot about uh, media wiki formatting, but this is more like a what you see is what you get editor. So we click this for, and now it's loading. Uh, using that for an easy editing. Um, so now we're editing this page so I can click somewhere and add some text, for example. Uh, but to add uh, a location, you can click somewhere here in the table, for example, on this row, and we see an arrow now, and we can click on that arrow and then insert above or below, for example, above. Now I have an an empty row where I can add details. For example, um, test location and the address is somewhere number one in the city, ghost city and in the country. Uh, yeah, name, name, nice country. Yeah, let's say the moon, it's not a county, but hey. Um, the openings times. It's uh, open between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. on Thursday. Thursdays. So now I've added a location, but of course we need to link this test location. So I go create link. And you see it's linking to test location. 
done. And yes, you see the link is not blue, but red. And it's red because the the site, the page, the wiki page after uh, this link is empty. There's nothing there. Something like a 404. Um, but that's for now. So we can click save. If you have a summary, you, uh, what you've done, uh, for example, video example, um, how to add a location will be removed after the recording of the video. And we say save change. And now our location is added here, but it's, yeah, it's good if people can click to your location to see, for example, what is landed by other people at your location. Um, and as you see, if I click it, it's empty. So you can add something here. The most easy part to uh, fill in your location page is to use another location page as something like to edit from. Uh, so we're going to copy paste another page over there. And um, example how you can do that is to, um, for example, click on Seeds to Meet Utrecht. It's one of the current locations. And you see all kinds of information here. What is Leonard and so on. So you can click on actions and then not edit, but edit source. And here you see the source codes, the, the made uh, wiki um, yeah, format of uh, creating a page. And we are co copy and paste everything. So click in the field somewhere and click uh, select all and then click copy. And it's uh, yeah, in Windows, for example, Control A for select all and Control C for copy. Uh, I think on a MacBook, it's something like the Mac key and then H and then um, for copy the C. We don't go to save change. We're going to click cancel because we didn't change anything. We just copied the source code. And now we will return to the location overview page. And click on the test location, your lo location you created. And we paste Control V, everything here, and click on Save Page. So you see now I have a, a new test location page, but filled in with all the data from uh, the permanent future lab Utrecht. And of course, that is not the real data uh, of this location. So we should change all those kind of information. So we click edit again. And now we are back in our what you see is what you get editor. And from here on, you could change all kind of information. For example, the address. You can add a more detailed here, like a link to Google Maps or so. So, um, yeah, I'm going to select this test address. Should have a link. Uh, Ghost City Moon. Find it on Google Maps. And the opening times, you can change that here as well. And you can add a, a world time format, for example. Then you can see, hey, find available technology at this location in the first table, this is the first table. So yeah, some general text, you can change that, of course, but you can also uh, let it what it is. Um, because yeah, if you find a good text, then it's it's fine. So here's the table, what people lend to your location. Um, they can fill in itself. So if you are a lender of technology, then this is the part of the instruction video um, to edit it. Um, so for example, you can 
it's it's yeah, sorted by alphabet alphabetic sorting so uh, of the title of the the products so for example if you are having uh let's say an htc5 uh virtuality class uh, also you can insert it here above or below um let's say hc5 and here's the brand and here's who is lending it for example joe do um, and the date you're lending it start lending it at the location so for example 23 or for 2018 uh, you can give uh, a price it's here in euros but it can also be in dollars or any currency uh, what it's you know, will cost uh, of course you're not selling it here but and it's also not a necessary field but sometimes so uh, people in the location like to know what it uh, will cost them if they buy it and themselves sometimes the location needed for insurance or something like that um, so this field is for a part number and the next field is serial number it's not always available but if, if you can find it on product you can uh, Add it here, and here's a, a note if you like to uh, to add a note to it. And you can save change if you add your uh, product that you lent over there. Um, now back to the instruction for adding a location. Of course, it's not all yours if you copy paste from uh, the Utrecht location of not all yours it's not what is landed in each at your location um, you can delete all rows if I'm correct you can yeah, select multiple uh, um, uh, rows so you click for example you let's stay the first row and then click to the last so and now i think we have sele selected everything except the first rows and then we don't click here it's for the whole table um, but we click here on the arrow and then delete rows it will take a few seconds so yeah, there it is um, now you have one row and I think there's always at least one thing you share as your location. So you can uh, start the first things you, that are in your location to add here. Um, if someone is taking something out of the location for a temporary time or it's on its way uh, that something uh, someone is going to share, um, then you can add it in this table so people know what to expect or when something is re returned and so on. Of course, you can do the same to delete the rows. And people that have a wish at something that's on your location, they can add it here. Um, so yeah, if you are the initiator of the location and yeah, people that are helping a lot or are, for example, the venue manager of the location, um, you can edit this in this uh, table. So here's my name and here's the role. Um, so let's give an example of another one. Mm. Let's say your name is Joe Do. You can uh, can link this by selecting it and then link it. And now you have to find a username. Let's see if you can find it. Mm, I think we need to use the user um, it's not an external link maybe like this I'm not sure yeah this is working if you use the word user and then start typing your username um, 
So let's say you're in the freeze, then it's linked. And you can say, hey, my role is an initiator. And then you can link to the page initiator. As you see here, but let me check what's the direct link to initiator. You can also copy paste it from here, of course. Yeah, this is the whole link, which is directly linked to initiator. Uh, other resources, for example, if you have a webcam or a Facebook group, uh, you can edit in this uh, uh, list. Just type in the, for example, go to Facebook, then click on external link and copy paste the link to your Facebook group, for example, here. And if you have something, yeah, trivia, interesting to say, for example, when it's opened and how it's opened, uh, what the space was before, um, and so on, you can add it in the trivia row. So let's say, let's save this. Oh yeah, you have also a picture, of course, I forgot about that. Um, this is this field. Uh, let's see how we can, yeah, you can edit the media. And there's a change image button. And you can upload an image, select the file. And then um, yeah, if you select the file, you can upload it. It will bring you back to, uh, to this screen. You can insert a description, for example, uh, ghost city and then apply changes and then save changes. And here is your test location and other people can edit it as well to add, of course, the things they are sharing. So I hope this, uh, this helped with adding uh, your location. Uh, any questions, feel free to uh, ask them to, to me. You can find my uh, information by clicking my name in multiple locations in the wiki. Um, so here you find my contact details. And uh, of course, there are also other people that, uh, that like to, uh, to help. Um, who you can find on, uh, on Facebook, uh, Permanent Future Lab uh, Global Group, for example or by using the hashtag uh, pflab on, uh, on Twitter. For example, you can try to find, uh, find people. Uh, so there are multiple ways for uh, help resources. Um, so yeah, I hope you, uh, you were able to, to add a, a location page this way um, and uh, enjoy the permanent future lab. <laughs>